So I'm going to give you a little context for what I'm reading tonight. Uh, I was born in 71, and I came to the U.S. Uh, in 1973 when I was two years old. I was born in Sri Lanka. And I lived pretty quietly in New England for quite a while. In 1983, um, I was going to go visit my relatives in Sri Lanka on my own. I was 12, and I was very excited about this. And two days before my flight, my dad got a telegram from relatives saying, don't send her, there's trouble coming. And he canceled the flight. Um, uh, about a week later, um, the July riots happened, and thousands of Tamils were massacred um, in the capital city. My grandmother's house was firebombed. Um, luckily, all of my relatives managed to escape, um, but a lot of people died. And it was, it was really brutal. It was like, people taking, they took tires and put them around men's necks and set them on fire. Um, and um, they had government lists of who was, Tamil is the eth minority ethnic group, so they had government lists of who the Tamils were and they went from house to house um, looking for them. And then, you know, and of course you have Sinhalese neighbors who are hiding their Tamil neighbors and everything you see in that kind of war. So most of my relatives who were still in the country fled to Canada because Canada had a really great refugee policy, unlike the US. Um, so, and now there's this massively huge Tamil community um, in Toronto, and if you ever get a chance to go up there, I recommend the Hopper Hut. It's excellent. Um, so, and you can't get, there's only like three Sri Lankan restaurants in the United States, and they're all in New York. So, uh, which makes me very sad. So, in any case, I was, I was basically still just a little kid growing up in America during all of this, right? And then uh, eventually I did an MFA, I started a PhD in creative writing at the University of Utah. Um, and while I was there, we're now in 2011, oh, sorry, 2001, in September 2001, of course the towers fell. Um, and so the first thing I'm gonna read is just a tiny poem that I wrote uh, on, on the eve of our invasion of Iraq. And I, I don't know, <laughs> I'm very conflicted about war stuff, so. How should I protest? And see, it's growing dark. The west has lost its shining sun. The stars are thickly clouded, dim at best. The cities burn. The dispossessed give up their will, and all their hope rests in the hands of those obsessed. We are so small, and each attest what cannot be denied. Our loves surpass the other's loves when pressed. And all I ask are quiet nights of rest my arms around your solid body, my head against your breathing chest.